Hello and uh, welcome uh, to this edition of the Free Game Spotlight. Uh, today we'll be looking at Pandemic 2, a game by Dark Realm Studios and brought to us by CrazyMonkeyGames.com. Uh, uh, Globex Designs Inc. and hosted by uh, Newgrounds.com. I'll have the link in the description. Uh, just to let you know, there won't be any uh, game audio uh, in this video because of... Uh, Camp Studio and Audacity for some reason wanting to screw the recording up, but that's okay. The music, you're not really missing much. Anyway, uh, you have several options here. You can do a tutorial. Uh, you can also click the link for more games, look at a guide to help you uh, get along in the game, but we're just going to jump straight into a game. By the way, this is record. This is, narration is after the fact because of, again, narration pro uh, audio problems. Alright, this game you have uh, two play modes to select from. Realistic where um, all of your virus traits are available from the beginning. It's a lot longer than uh, relax mode, uh, but there's a lot more strategy involved. Uh, a lot more flanking to do and how to uh, infect the world. Then, of course, you have relax mode. Not all the traits are available for your illness, but it's shorter and uh, not as uh, thought-inducing. Uh, <laughs> it, it's basically if you just want to jump in just to see what it is before you actually get to play directly. Um, when you start, you have uh, three disease classes to choose from. You have virus, which is um, it's got the uh, fastest evolution rate, which means you get lots of evolution points. Uh, it's most affected by uh, uh, the terrain, by you know, by hot, cold, moisture, and such. And uh, and also, it's very infective. It spreads quickly. Then you have bacteria. This is the uh, balanced one. It's Decent infection, uh, decent evolution rate, uh, kind of influenced by uh, the natural environment, and uh, you get uh, resistant to drugs. Parasite, it's uh, slowest uh, evolution rate, uh, not affected by uh, environment at all, and it's uh, very, uh, it's not easily spotted. You know, it takes a lot longer time for. Uh, hospitals and such to spot the illness and take care of it, whereas, you know, the other two, they can spot quicker. Uh, for this uh, video, we'll be going through as the virus. You can name your virus. Uh, it's just formality if you want to. Uh, <laughs> a uh, internet cookie to hit one good stat reference there, T-Virus. <laughs> Alright, let's jump right into the game. Again, you have a tutorial. It's uh, just a quick little thing to teach you how to play. Uh, it's like if you're not sure, but it, the game's pretty easy enough just to jump in and learn. Uh, we'll be skipping that. Uh, as soon as it will click it. <laughs> but yeah, you don't really... I mean, you can watch a tur tutorial, but the game's pretty easy. Uh, you have a men menu here, again, where you can watch a tutorial. Instruction, you, know, you can get instructions. Uh, you can have the guide, you know, learn by it. We shut the music off, you know. Again, the music's not really that... Uh, important. It's just two songs that loop constantly. You know, you, it's pretty much better off turning the music off and put on something else like Slayer. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is the main screen here. Right in the top corner there you have the uh, mini-map. Let you uh, scroll around the planet and uh, take a look at uh, the world. Basically, you'll know, see how your thing's going. You also have a breaking news bar tells you uh, basic stuff, not just about your illness, but also about any disasters that are going on around the country. You also have some icons in the top right-hand corner tell you, you know, different things. <laughs> you also have a world information bar. It tells you uh, your current population, how many people are infected, uh, how many people are healthy, how many people have died, and so on and so forth. Um, it also gives you information on uh, vaccine status. When your virus does become visible, uh, hospitals around the world will start uh, working on it. Now, you want them, you want to hit your virus quick, so that way, you know, and powerful, that way they shut down hospitals because they'll become overrun. The less hospitals are active, the less time, uh, the longer time it takes for them to get the uh, vaccine going. Because if it gets going and gets uh, not only completed but deployed and it's effective, you're screwed. Um, you also have a list there to tell you how many places are clean, how many places are infected, and how many places where 
you know, forsaken, i.e. everyone's dead, not even worth bothering about. <laughs> um, down the bottom here you have your uh, date, you know, day, hour, time, and year. <laughs> hour, day, month, and year. Excuse me. You also have a speed bar. You can uh, adjust the speed of the game so we don't have to wait too much. You also have a pause button. So you can just uh, pause the game, just give yourself a breather, you know, and try and think. Uh, I prefer going it. You also, that was right there. That number is your uh, evolution points. When people become infected, you gain a certain number of points. And depending on your illness type, determines how many points you get. I.e., because I'm playing as a virus, I'm getting a ton of them. Uh, also, you can uh, move around and uh, check places there. Uh, this here is your virus menu. You can regulate what symptoms you have, uh, what its resistances are, how it uh, is transmitted, and its uh, natural traits. Uh, its symptoms can range between fever, diarrhea, pulmonary edema. Basically, you want to pick uh, illnesses that, while are, are very lethal, also are not that visible. You know, don't show much signs. Like fever, for instance. Very lethal, but doesn't show any sign. You want you want to keep your your illness off the radar as long as possible. Uh, you also want to upgrade your resistances early to moisture and drug and the illnesses. That way it, you know, and uh, temperature, I mean, so it'll spread quicker. Just, you know, quicker it spreads, the more damage you can do. Uh, you also want to upgrade early its way of transmission. Always go for water uh, transmission first, then airborne. That way you're sure to hopefully get as many countries as you can as possible. Try to save rodent and insect for last, because they're not really that effective. Then you also have traits. Uh, you always start with one that's your base to your, uh, your type. Being virus tells you that. Uh, that's my type. Um... You also have two other random traits. You know, one or two that you just randomly come. Like, uh, you don't want expected. Expected makes the game a lot harder. If your virus comes with expected, you might just want to start over. Or you might want to keep going. Hey, give, more, give yourself more of a challenge. Uh, you also get durable, which sometimes gives you a random uh, durability. On the bottom, you also have uh, number of people infected, average infections per day, how many points you have. How le how infective the virus is, how lethal it is, and how visible it is. You want to try and keep the visible bar down as much as possible, while keeping the other two as high as possible. Sometimes you just gotta strike a balance. Now, when you're looking around the world, uh, you'll want to check and see what's going on. Each of the icons have a different meaning. Uh, the plane and the anchor, for example, are uh, air and sea ports. You want to keep those open as long as possible i.e. keeping your visibility down. Because once those closed, unless they're a landlocked country, there's no way your virus is getting in, and you're pretty much screwed. I had that problem a lot with Greenland. <laughs> um, the other two icons is the water. That's always a good one, because, you know, the water can spread. And if your, their water becomes contaminated, they're screwed. And the cross is the hospitals. If you can get some places infected quick, and get hospitals to shut down, that, uh pretty much reduces their ability to get a vaccine out quick. Um, yeah, you definitely don't want those going quick. <laughs> um, yeah, pre yeah, pretty much... It, you now, the one thing you do have to remember about the, uh, uh, the symptoms is that uh, they have a price, both for buying and selling. So if you come up with a symptom that you don't want, you have to pay to get rid of it. So you have to have some strategy there. You can't just willingly start buying everything, you know, in terms of symptoms, because you might get, you might make your uh, illness very visible, and thus make it easier to spot, and thus kind of cut your game short. So you want to be careful. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Crap. Now. Uh, now, one more thing, you can also click on each country and get a brief overview on uh, how their health uh, status is, what kind of political appeals are going on, what services are available, and uh, how they're generally dealing with the problem. Uh, you definitely want to keep an eye on those, you know, just to try and change your virus up a bit, you know. Change it up, 
just to hopefully get a few more infections out. <laughs> but, uh, pretty much it's a fun game. Again, sorry for the, uh, weird, uh, review this time. Uh, Camp Studios giving me a fit. But, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you, uh, go and try it. The link and the score will be in the description. Um... Until the next Spotlight Shines, enjoy some free fun!